around here, we get our drinking water from Possum Lake. Years ago, that never bothered me, but of course, back then, you could get a six pack for only a buck seventy nine. So this time on Handyman Corner, I'm going to show you how you can make your own water. Okay, we're going to start with rainwater coming right off the room, because this is pure, unpolluted water coming straight from heaven. All we got to do is filter out the leaves and the bird feathers and the moldy chestnuts, and boil it all up, and we're beating the system. Okay, first thing you want to do is take off your downspout, cut a slot and you're down near the one end. That's your first stage filtration right there. Catch the finer stuff, pantyhose. Not just for holdups anymore. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, now you would just run your, your downpipe just straight off the end of the building there, but uh, I put this extension on ours because there's a, there's a wet spot over there and what looks like Moose Thompson's footprints. I just, okay. What I'm gonna do now then is just uh, jam this up in here and that takes care of our filtration unit. Now we need something that'll catch the water and then distill it. I wanted something small and portable that had the same engineering sophistication as those high-end water purification plants they use in the larger metropolis areas. And I think I've done it. <laughs> oh yeah, a metal container here, I'm gonna catch my filtered rainwater. Barbecue makes it boil, and the wagon makes it portable. Now I just need it to rain. for the rain to stop so I can test my drinking water. And this smart guy dropped 50 cents into my tin cup. <laughs> People are so cheap. Okay, let's see what we got here. Tea. <laughs> kind of a shingle pico. <laughs> I'm sure you get used to it. But the main point is you're providing something for yourself and your family that you know is completely safe. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome. <laughs> should at least find you handy. 